Hello everyone, welcome back to another action figure review. Today we got the first 10 year store from Thor 2 that we are going to be looking into today. So let's go ahead and get jumped right into this review. To go ahead and just give some information about this figure, like I did mention, this is the first 10 year store, which was part of Marvel's first 10 years wave. He did come in a two pack with Lady Sif. Um, just to go ahead, and this figure did come from the um, Thor 2 movie, and I think he does look pretty good for the movie. Just to go ahead and get a 360 of the figure before we get into articulation and everything like that. I do think it looks pretty good with paint apps and everything. But we'll go ahead and get into more detail like that just shortly. Just to get a comparison with this Thor and the one from the movie. I'm going to put it up on this side just so you guys are able to see. And I think it's pretty spot on. I think it matches one on one with the actual what we got in the movie. So I think overall it is a really good, you know, um, transition from movie to figure. For accessories, we do just have his hammer, and we can go ahead and just take a quick look at it. I do see that on mine, I'm not sure where it is with everyone's, it does have this like, a little bit of damage at the end of the hammer, just to go ahead and give it the full 360. It does have, you know, those little engraves that his hammer does have. On the top, it does have the Asgardian um, symbols on top, very tiny. And then it does have his hill, and it does have the, um, what would you call this? Cloth? I'm going to call it cloth. So he can hold on to, and you know, be able to have it like he was flying with it. Overall, I think, as just the only accessory that we did get with this figure, it overall was good. Can't really see anything else we could have given him except the lightning effects. But overall, I think this was a perfect, you know, accessory to go along with this door. Before we go ahead and get into articulation, we are just going to take a look at this head. I do think this head looks very spot on. But if I'm being honest, to me, it personally looks more like Chris Evans with the wig more than it does Chris Hensworth. But overall, I think it is an amazing head for Thor. Um, he has very nice hair detailing and everything, so it's a very good head sculpt. Going ahead and jumping into articulation, he cannot move up and down, well, a little bit up, down and up moment. But let me pop the head off. He does have this weird um, joint that you just kind of pop his head onto, so not very much movement when it does come to that. He can look side to side, and he can have him um, do his head pivot, going down to his arms and his chest area. It is very nicely detailed with the chain metal on the arms. You can get his arms to move up above 90. And then he does have his bicep swivel. He does have double jointed elbows with the pins uh, matching his armor. You can go ahead and get it at over 90 degrees. He does have these cuffs on his arms that look really nice. You can get his arm to, you know, swivel, his um, right wrist to swivel. It does hinge downwards and upwards. And on this side is basically the same thing. Going down to the chest area, it is very nicely designed with the gold. You can get him to hunch forward a little bit and hunch back quite a bit. And then going down to his waist, there are no, um, it's one solid piece, no cuts. But with his legs, you can get him to kick out that far. But it does run into the, the plastic right here. You can get him to kick back a lot. He does have the thigh swivel. It is kind of a little bit hard to move it. Coming down, he has this gray, um, gun metal gray again with this chain armor. Coming down to the knees, he does have the double jointed knees that do bend a little bit more than 90. He does have the pegs within them, but I don't think it causes any issues. Coming down to his calf, it is all one solid piece, so no articulation. With his ankles, he does have it go up and down. He does have ankle pivot, which is beautiful for the figure. Overall, I think it does have amazing articulation when it does come to a toy figure. For a size comparison, I got my, um, I want to say this was the part of the end game line wave of Odin, and I do got my Walmart exclusive Avengers Loki, and for size comparison, I think he matches pretty good with Odin, not so much Loki, I think Loki should be a little bit taller, um, probably like around right here, and then his horns make him even taller. We do have, do have another Loki figure that I can pull out for comparison in just a moment, but I think Odin and Thor matches up really well. I think this is the perfect height of both of them in the movies because I think Thor is taller than Odin. And I do like the both Asgardian armor that we have on both of them. And I do like Odin's helmet a lot 
um, but we don't have a helmet with Thor. Um, I don't have a helmet Thor currently in my collection. Hopefully, I can pick one up. And like always, a review for this one is going to be coming up very soon. Probably not this Loki just because he doesn't have that much movement. But we use him for a comparison going down the line with my other Lokis. Just so we can show I have this um, Avengers, not Avengers Infinity War. I think it is Infinity War and Thor Ragnarok Loki compared to our first 10 years um, Loki. Not first 10 years, Avengers movie figure Loki with our first 10 years Thor. And I think this size is perfect for them. I think this one should have been tall like I did mention at least this side and just so we can see it I'm gonna remove the helmet from this Loki and you know try to get it onto this one just so we can see you know how it looks so it doesn't sit perfectly on it but that's what I would like with my Loki figure for my you know Avengers movie line but perfectly I'm fine with the both Lokis I do have him with my villain shelf and I do have him with my Infinity War shelf so personally, I like both these figures. I just think this one feels more with perfectly with Thor than this one does. But for first, you know, close to you know, movie-wise, Loki with his Asgardian armor, I think these two look really good together. Just wish he could have been a little bit taller. Just to get my final thoughts on this figure, I think it is an amazing Thor figure. I think it fits perfectly with my MCU shelf. I do have him currently seen on my Avengers shelf instead of you know a Thor 2 one, just because I don't have many figures from that movie. And even though not many of those figures were released, even for that movie. So for my Thor, I have him with my Avengers and I think he looks perfectly even though the suit is not the one to one scale with the one that did show in the Avengers. I just think this is an amazing Thor figure and if you ever have a chance to pick him up, I think you really should. I have some really good posing with him. I have a lot of fun, you know, taking some pictures with this guy and, you know, just get him into those more dynamic poses with the other Avengers. So overall, I give this figure a 10 out of 10. If you have an opportunity to pick him up, I will pick him up. Um, I know he is going right now with a 2-pack and going over from 30 to around, say, $70. So it just depends where you do pick him up. But overall, he is an amazing figure, and I do love this store. I want to thank all of you guys for watching. And once again, if you do like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is the first 10 years of Thor. If you guys did enjoy, I hopefully you can see you back next week for my next video. Y'all have a wonderful weekend or day, and you guys do take care. Bye-bye.